Hello again, guys. Once again. Once again. You know what I hate? Bad video game graphics. You know what else I hate? Fan mail. Oh, woo, what's this? My eviction notice. <laughs> Don't play with matches, kids. <laughs> Don't collect for Amiibo either. As some of you know by now, I really enjoy collecting for Amiibo. Yes, the plastic classics. The famous Nintendo Toys to Lifeline that still has a fan base that's holding on for dear life within the thin thread of possibility that Nintendo will discontinue the brand. Not entirely sure that will happen, but regardless, the statement still stands with me that I like Amiibo collecting. However, just because I like to collect for these things doesn't necessarily mean that collecting for them is entirely perfect. Yes, Amiibo collecting is certainly no merit Sue, after all, there are ups and downs to everything. So in today's semi-long-awaited video, I'm gonna be talking about what I hate most about collecting for Amiibo. Oh yeah, did I mention that I somewhat hate collecting for these things? Now bear in mind that again, this video is mostly just my opinion, meaning that's all that matters and you should just listen to me. But if there is somewhat of a relatability you get from this video, then by all means enjoy. Okay, so to start, the whole concept of Amiibo here is to buy these nice-looking plastic figures and to get some extra content for your compatible games too. So ideally, where are you going to try and find these toys. The store? <laughs> when you're out and about looking for Amiibo, it's either going to be whenever you're grocery shopping with your mom or standing in line with a bunch of fat, sweaty, zit-covered losers who have a mass case of social anxiety. So once you do find these Amiibo in store, not that you ever will or anything, what's going to be left is one of those dented and busted up ones that some random kid ripped open to see what was inside, which I have no idea why they would do that because it's in plastic packaging for a reason. So it is entirely possible that you'll be able to find this precious Amiibo of yours, just good luck doing it. At least on days like Black Friday, you'll find some pretty good interactions to behold. Now the next best place to find Amiibos is online. The internet is a perfect place to do all of your shopping at a convenience of sitting at home or lounging. You can relax. You can drink a warm cup of coffee. That all being said, you can't get an Amiibo reasonably unless you amputate your balls and trade them to the black market. When you go online to purchase that precious Chrome Amiibo you've been looking for for a millennia, there's a very high chance that the retail websites such as Nintendo or Best Buy or something, will not even have this amiibo you're searching for in stock. Most of the time it's because Nintendo is notoriously bad with amiibo stockage in the past, having scenarios like the first wave Marth amiibo becoming rarer than a good break from work. However, the other times the amiibo are sold out is because you have those scumbags who buy up about 98 copies of the same amiibo. They're certainly not doing this to upset other Pete I stand corrected. What would they possibly do with these anyway? Well, like anybody of the same inbred lineage as them, they would sell these amiibo on the secondary market for outrageous prices. Think about the children for crying out loud. Yes, while the secondary market is most certainly a haven to buy, sell, and trade despite the plotting people do in the back alleyways, there's a surefire guarantee that people are going to take advantage and sell high demand items for a quick buck. Depending on the amiibo, you can shell out between the average $15 price point or haggle with some clown who's asking quintuple the amount. This is made even worse when the amiibo you spent a college tuition on gets re-released and the price plummets, and now you're just sitting there hoping to sell it for a sandwich. Crazy how the economy works. And I regret nothing. Now finally, to the content, or lack thereof, can range from being top-notch quality to absolute rubbish garbage. Look Nintendo, I'm paying you guys $12 to $15 retail price for these things, or $100 if you're buying it from Starbucks. I better get the most out of my buck from you. Now I understand that these are really heavily detailed and beautiful characters to display, and that they are already worth the good price sometimes. Well, I mean, they look better than most generic WWE action figures, or even other Nintendo toy lines, sometimes. But unless you're buying the figures purely for the figurine, then the other people buying the amiibo figures exclusively for the in-game content are basically getting screwed over. Yes, I made an entire video in the past of the best and worst amiibo functionalities on my channel before, so I won't name too many examples here. But a good example of amiibo function is the ones like the Chibi Robo amiibo on the 3DS Chibi Robo game, where it gives you the golden Chibi Robo power-up, which warps your entire experience of the game. On the other spectrum, the Solaire amiibo is a really bad function that questions whether or not you should bother buying a figure at all. Literally, all it gives you is a praise the sun gesture that's apparently easy to obtain in the game already. See what I mean? You get duped out of good amounts of content most of the time. I don't know, maybe I'm just a punk and I complain too much about how Amiibo should offer the buyer the max amount it could possibly offer, and I also understand that there's a thin line between having too much content to the point of paywalling and what's considered reasonable. But maximizing use and function of your toy product is important, at least in my opinion. Truth be told, I'm not 1000% worried about Amiibo functions being bad, for I collect the Amiibo sealed in the pack 
packaging. Does that make me a scumbag? Well, that's all I really had to talk about today in terms of what I find absurdly annoying about collecting for these things. Maybe I'll do another video like this in the future, who knows, as there is a ton to talk about with this topic, really. Regardless, this video is sponsored by Hugbees. Why? Because we like saying the word Hugbees. Go ahead, try it. Hugbees. 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 Hugbees.